Metamorphosis Fitness in Morden for my workout. We're going to learn about personalization, the different workouts, and all kinds of stuff with Stacy Dawson at Metamorphosis Fitness. So come on in. push-ups, uh, all I need is my arms, my feet, and my abs, right? Right, so that's what a lot of people think. You think that the force is coming through our feet, our arms, and if this is your belly button, through your abdominals. Right. But in reality, we know from physics that gravity works as a downward force on every square inch of our body. So that means when we are doing a plank, if we want to stay in this position, that level even position, we need an equal and opposite force to work against the force of gravity. Okay. So that means every square inch of our body actually needs to be activated to hold us in that plank position. So chest, legs, right. everything. everything. It runs this way, kind of hip bone to hip bone. Okay. I'll show you here first. Yeah, please do, because I don't know what, what we're doing. Okay, so it's a, it is probably the most elusive and difficult muscle to learn how to activate. So the easiest way to palpate is to place your hands on your hips, you move your hands in two inches and down one inch. So it's, it is very close to the pubic bone. Yeah. So the idea here now is to draw that abdominal wall down closer to the hip bones, like just flatten it out uh, to act as that girdle. So the first part is just try and figure out how to create that contraction without contracting your glutes. Right. One, two, three, one, two, three, or in, in, out, in, in, out. We're up on the balls of our feet. And then once you feel comfortable, you can add speed and arms to that. So it's gonna, So when you say, okay, when you say balls of your feet, mm -hmm. that's this here? That's right, it's up in this portion. So you're not up on your tippy toes, but you're not resting on your heels either. Um, so tier X straps, cables, dumbbells are all superior to weight machines. The reason they're superior is because they require you to control the movement. So if you're doing an exercise with a cable, especially with two separate cables, and one side wants to push harder than the other side, say you're doing a chest press, and you're stronger with your right side, you're gonna see that. The right side's gonna lead and then the left side's gonna try to catch up. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that. Sure. We wanna try to make sure we're as balanced, front to back, side to side, up to down as possible. So things like these straps or cable machines, dumbbells, really highlight those weaknesses and force us to improve on them. Perfect, let's highlight my weaknesses. <laughs> okay, so uh, with a row, what you're gonna do is lay down at an angle. So the deeper you are, the more horizontal you are, the more challenging the exercise is gonna be. It's gonna be easier the more upright you are. Okay. So find a position. So can I do it like this? <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> So you're going to lower yourself down into this position. Okay. You're going to maintain that control in the shoulder blades so you're not just hanging out of the shoulder girdle. Yep. Abdominals are tight and you're going to pull yourself up, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Yeah, right. <laughs> So lat pull downs. Um, You're saying a lot of people that you do lat pull downs. Can you show me how, they, how, how? Show me the wrong way to do it. Let's start with that. So I'm just gonna go uh, lightweight here, so I don't hurt myself. I would also like to go lightweight. <laughs> 
So the old way of doing a lap pull down was like this, pulling down behind the head. Right. They no longer advocate for doing that because it can actually cause impingement and leave you with permanent damage, um, can cause a neck injury. Okay. So what they do now, so latissimus dorsi is a muscle that's in the back here. Yeah, it actually attaches into your pelvis. Yeah. And it's the big muscle that when you see a swimmer put their arms over their head, it's that big winged <laughs> structure that comes out. Yeah. <clears throat> so Microphones. So what you're going to do is sit down, you're going to lean back about 35 degrees from your hip. Okay. So it's not a back thing, yeah. it's hinging back from the hips. Arms are going to be fully extended, but they're not pulled out of their sockets. And chest is lifted. Abdominals are contracted just to keep that torso nice and firm, yeah. supported. Then you're going to pull the bar down to the top of the chest. Okay. You come to Metamorphosis Fitness in Morton, uh, metamorphosisfitness.ca. Talk to Stacy, she'll get you hooked up, and you're gonna have muscles like I do.